what they're doing in heaven today. This is Pastor Tommy Bates, and I'm so glad you've joined us today on Bridging the Gap. We want to prepare our hearts for the Word of God today with some good old-fashioned singing. I know many of you, you email and you call in and you say, we want to hear your cultural songs, the songs from the Appalachian Mountains. Well, here comes one right now. It's entitled, After a While, It'll All Be Over. Let's go into that service. Some hills you have to climb. Your closest friend may forsake you, but God's are gonna fix it. He's gonna fix it after a while. Oh, after a while, it'll all be over. These days, it's a while. The sun's gonna shine. So bitter you may cry Through your tears, lift your hands Cry on Jesus God will fix it all right After a while Sometimes make it bitter Tonight 
But you may be crying those bitter tears Through your tears, lift your hands Call on Jesus God's are gonna fix it all right after a while song says after a while dark clouds will pass over and we'll shout hallelujah after a while aren't you thankful for the scripture it says and it came to pass that weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning oh yes I know that song has really blessed you today and those songs give us hope and faith for tomorrow and that's the message of Jesus is a message of hope anticipation and expectation well, I'm very excited today. Today is the third part of our message at the midnight hour. And you know, I had another message planned, pre-planned when I went to Pace Assembly of God. But in the hotel room, the Lord opened up the scripture, Acts chapter 16, verse 25, and said, At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. I believe that you know, the church is in that midnight hour right now. And I'm believing for a great awakening in the United States of America. Spiritually speaking, it seems like the enemy has taken us to the whipping post and whipped us and beat us with many stripes and stripped us of our clothing, our identity, our, you know, uh, tried to bring shame to us. But the Bible said in that Philippian jail, with their blood sticking to the floor, all at once they began to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and they sang praises unto God. And the Bible said God sent an earthquake and the prisoners heard them singing. You know, if you have a prayer request or a prayer need, you can call our prayer toll-free number at any time. And I know these prayer partners. One of them is my mother. And this year I believe she's been had the mighty power of the Holy Ghost over 60 years. The power of God moving in her life. And we're going to go to the con uh, conclusion of this message. And it's going to end in praise. It's going to end in glory. So let's go there right now as we preach this message at the midnight hour. The Spirit of God spoke to me. He said, when you go there, you're going to be preaching to those who are at the midnight hour. Our finance, our church has been debt free since 1988. It seems like, where's the extra? How am I going to build this the vision that I had? How am I going to build this vision that I had? God, what are we going to do? It's at the midnight hour. But I am under the assumption that the man who Paul saw in the vision that said, come, come, come to Macedonia. He could possibly be one of those men behind bars in the prison at Philippi. Ah, when the devil thinks he's got you in maximum security. I believe he may be planting us, brother in Nairobi. I believe he may be planting us in the largest vineyard we've ever been planted in. 
in the history of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a better place to be than among the bound. What a better place to be than among the sinner. What a better place to be than among the lost. What a better place to be laying with coagulated blood sticking to their bodies. The Bible said at the midnight hour, at the midnight hour, we're going to serve God in plenty or we're going to serve him in want. We're going to serve him with riches or we're going to serve him in poverty. We're going to serve him in health or we're going to serve him in pain but you write it down you make a declaration you sign on the dotted line I'm going to praise him for who he is he's God I believe we're at crossroads tonight I believe we're at crossroads and I believe beyond the shadow of a doubt the key that we have is the key of David. And that key is this. Through your difficulty, through your trial, through your obscurity, through your darkness, are you still, even when your naked body's sticking to an old cold stone floor, are you at your midnight hour still gonna say, crank up the music? Somebody said, well, I don't feel like praising. Does that sound like they felt like praising? Listen, praise is a decision. It's not a feeling. Oh, turn around and tell five people, praise is a decision, not a feeling. Why do you have to be so stubborn that you want God to pick you up by the belt buckle and shake you till your false teeth fall in the floor? and say, well, I don't shout much, but when I do, it's God. Does it take God to shake a praise out of you? Has God been so good to you that you can't praise him? I... Pastor from Nairobi, come up here real quick. Hallelujah. I'll tell you why Nairobi and Kenya, come on. I'm not afraid of you. Hallelujah. Come on up, brother. Do you understand me? I do. My hillbilly is not too strong of an accent, is it? Yes, I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now, the reason why Africa, China, India, South Africa, Peru, Central America, South America is having a supernatural visitation is because they said, I don't have food, but I do have a praise. I don't have a bed, but I do have a praise. I don't have money, but I do have a praise. You don't need faith when you go to heaven because everything is going to be turned into sight. You don't need prayer when you get to heaven because your prayers will be answered. You don't need no money when you get to heaven because the streets are paved with gold. You don't need healing when you get to heaven because there's nobody sick there. Say there. Shout it to me. There is only one thing. I'm going to carry from the natural to the supernatural. It's not my prayer. It's my praise. Oh, oh you didn't get it. There's only one thing, brother, we're going to enter that gate with. There's only one eternal thing I have. My prayers will be answered. My faith is going to turn in sight. My healing will be experienced. But I'm going to take my praise with me. I'm going to take my praise with me. I'm going to take my praise with me. There's about a hundred of you need to get out in the aisles because I'm going to believe God right now for an earthquake praise. I'm going to breathe God for an evangelical, open up the prison door attitude. I want us. 
Come on, get out of these aisles right now. You don't have to come up here. Just get out of the aisles. We're going to give God about 30 seconds of some of the best sacrificial will praise. Not feeling praise, will praise. I will to praise him in the morning. I will to praise him in the evening. I will to praise him through my sickness. I will to praise him through my poverty. Well, come on up. We may as well just, come on, just fill this altar. Come on. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Come on, let's fill it up. Come on, church, let's praise him. This is going on in the internet. There's people around the world that's being touched right now. Pastor, the words God spoke to me I had no notes. I had nothing but these words. I had no idea, no premeditated thought. Now that's a little scary, but I've been preaching for 40 years and I know my Holy Ghost. You may have on nice clothes. You may have driven here in a nice car. But spiritually, if we could see your back, if you could see how many times some of us pastors have gone to the pulpit and our back's been bleeding, 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 bleeding. Where the very powers of darkness looking for every little thing they can put in the front page of the paper. Every discrepancy, every evil, vile thing to try to make us out to be fools. But at midnight, I will to praise you I will to glorify you. I want you brothers to lay hands on a brother right now. You sisters to lay hands. We're going to shout that midnight praise, but we got the, the Spirit's not there right now. The Spirit is for interceding for each other. We got to be sensitive. There's some people so bleeding. Mikio, Kosh, and Nisai. There's some people here bleeding so hard spiritually. There's some young people that's bleeding so hard spiritually that it's a little difficult for them to even get a hallelujah out. Come on, you in the congregation, do the same thing. Brother, find a brother. Sisters, find a sister. <laughs> oh, we need you in America, Lord. We need you in America. We need you in America, Lord. We need a fresh visitation of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. We need the Lordship of Christ in every area of America, God. We are making this intercession, Lord. God save America. I want you to lift your hands. Let's have a universal prayer right now. God, it's at the midnight hour. It's at the midnight hour. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Come to every pastor. Come to every Sunday school teacher. Come to every bus driver. Come to every usher. Come to every choir member. Every choir member. There's, oh my goodness, the Holy Spirit said there were people standing in this choir. If you could see their back, their back has been beaten with many stripes. Oh my goodness, it was so difficult for them just to stand in that choir and sing tonight. Oh. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. 
I feel a prophetic wind coming across this place. Hallelujah. Ha ha. Oh, come on, let's listen to the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a force coming through that gulf. I don't know what this represents. Demonic forces from hell coming through that Gulf of Mexico that want to invade this territory. Hallelujah. It's not going to be education going to push them back. It's not going to be a political party that pushes them back. There's only one group of people that have the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Satan, we push you back. We push you back. The international demon powers of hell that are coming to this geographic region and to the regions of America, we push you back in the name of Jesus. The bride of Christ has not left here yet. The bride of Christ is here. And as long as we're here, we control the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And we unlock the gates of heaven. We unlock the gates of heaven. Let the power of God come down. We're gonna shout when we get done shouting. Maybe they can sing that heaven, heaven touching earth like you said you thought you was going to. We're gonna give God a will praise. Do you hear me? Come on, talk to me. We're gonna give God a will praise. Not a I feel it praise. Oh, you feel it when you believe it. But you gotta believe it first. I said you gotta believe it first. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prostitute and the dope addict and the liar and the profane and the abusers of themselves with mankind, every evil, ungodly, wicked person that was bound. I said every wicked, ungodly person that was bound. You can entertain religious people with coffee and donuts, but if you're in prison, you don't need a cup of coffee, brother. You need to hear. And the prisoners heard them, and the liars heard them, and the alcoholics heard them, and the immorally impure heard them, and the lonely and the down and out heard them, and the financial scandalers heard them, and suddenly, what I'm believing for in America, it's not gonna be something that's gonna be drawn out. I'm believing God for a sudden manifestation of an incredible, awesome move of God. I'd like to see the pages of our newspaper. I'm tired of the trashy news on the front page. I'm tired of the specials, corrupt preacher, corrupt this, corrupt that, corrupt that. I want to see the headlines of our newspapers read. Something is moving, and it's moving suddenly. Say suddenly, 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 suddenly. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prisoners were shaken. Say immediately, immediately. All the doors were open and inside the doors came the skinheads, came those that were bound by immorality and impurity, came those that were pierced up, tattooed up, doped, doped up, came those that were alcoholics, came those that were witches, came those that were sorcerers, and the house of God began to fill with those prisoners that were loose. These are my final words. This is your midnight 
give God a midnight prayer. Come on! Now something happens when you shout. When I say shout, demons are gonna get nervous. Get ready, shout! It's not broke yet. It's getting ready to break. I said it's getting ready to break. It's getting ready to break. You know, my mind goes back to so many incredible meetings when I was a child, but the only thing I have is memory. That's it, just memory. No DVDs, no films, nothing. Just memory, and I try to tell it to my children. But the great thing about today's technology is I go to a camp meeting, hundreds of people, actually thousands come together, Pastors come from all over. This camp meeting envi environment is so powerful. And you know what's great? We can put it on a DVD. I can bring it to you on my TV program. You can get the DVD and the CD. You can listen to it in your car. And you have something even more defined than memory. You have something that will last forever. We're offering this, all three programs, the last two weeks and this week, on the message at the midnight hour. The song, after a while, it'll all be over. All the other singing that's lifting up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The testimony of a sister that was healed of cancer. Every bit of this is on this DVD. And I know that it's going to be a blessing to your soul. Make plans now to attend CFC's 59th anniversary celebration services. September 8th through the 11th. Come and experience the dynamic ministries of Pastor Tommy Bates. King of kings and the Lord of lords is going to rise up mighty inside of his people. Oh, Pastor Todd Hoskins. Everybody has hope. Everybody has aspiration. And you can never let the devil take that dream away from you that it's going to get better than what I'm facing right now. Pastor Lawrence Powell. They would walk in the door praising and magnifying God and Jesus would come and fill the house. Pastor John Parrish. I came to tell you tonight that I am convinced that before the trumpet of God sounds the whole call, God will have a church. And Pastor Shane Warren. God looks at you with pleasure and joy within his heart and he says, I take pleasure in my son and in my daughter. This is one event you don't want to miss. Join us September 8th through the 11th at CFC or online. Visit TommyBates.com or call for more information.